To make your scuba mask background, you are gonna use two colors. One of them is gonna be blue because it's water. And with your blue, you can add either green or purple or white. It's up to you. I'm gonna come around, after you have your name on your paper, of course, I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna give you squirts of those two colors on your paper. So blue and green. I usually overdo the color here, so you should have plenty. If not, I can always give you more if you need more. So I'm just gonna come around and I'm gonna give you two squirts. Then you get to take a paint scraper. We have a couple different kinds of these, um, but you are gonna use it the same way. You are going to first use this flat edge. Here's the handle, here's the textured edge. You use one of these two flat edges, it doesn't matter which one, to smear the paint around. So I think of it like buttering your bread. So you are going to see how awesome that is. You get to see some of that paint coming through, like where the paint was squirted, down, squirted out. You kind of see it where it's stuck to the paper. But you are going to smear that all the way around. You'll have a nice big messy mat here. Mine's kind of small. But you, you really don't have to get all the way to the edge because um, this paper is going to be used as our background and we're gonna trace. Yeah, I got way too much paint. I'll try not to give you this much. Um, we are gonna trace our scuba mask pattern onto it so we're not going, we don't have to go all the way to the edge. You need to get pretty close. Like I said, I really overjudged the paint here. Um, but I'm just gonna use this extra paint that I have and get close up to the edge. Like I said, you don't need to go off the white paper, but you need to get pretty close to it. All right, then I'm just gonna kind of spread all this extra paint that I have and once you have it spread all over so your bread or your paper is completely buttered or the paint is spread all the way through, I know there's a lot of paint here, but you're just going to have to try not to grab onto that part of it. You're gonna grab the handle. If you get a little bit on your hands, it's okay. You can see it's all over my paint scraper now on that side. Grab the handle with one hand, with your other hand, you kind of have to hold the paper steady. But you're gonna start at the top and just work your way across making the texture so it kind of looks like a wave. So I would take that paint scraper and you see how you're seeing the texture now? Go from one side to the other. You can go straight across, you can make it kind of wavy like this. But now your paper and the paint is starting to look more like water. Because you can kind of see that movement. That's where we're going from one side to the other side because that's the movement of the water. And you want it to look as much like water as we can. All right, that's it. That's all we can do with it today. And then it's gonna take a while to dry, I'll be ready next time to start cutting out our pattern.